This is module one, lesson six. Today's objective was to interpret the unknown in division using the array model. Number four, Judy washes 24 dishes. She then dries and stacks the dishes equally into four piles. How many dishes are in each pile? So Judy has a total of 24 dishes. She makes four equal groups of piles. So she has one pile, two piles, three piles, and four piles. I'm going to divide up those 24 dishes into the four piles. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Judy had 24 dishes that she divided into four equal piles. When I look inside each pile, I can see there are six in the first pile. There are six in the second pile. There are six in the third pile. And there are six in the fourth pile. So my missing number for 24 divided by four equals six. When I look at my multiplication problem, I see that four is my groups. Groups always comes first in multiplication. So the number six is representing my size, the amount I have in each group. Four times six equals 24. What is the meaning of the unknown factor and quotient? So I'm being asked for what is the meaning of six? In this problem, I knew the total was 24. I also knew the number of groups, four. So my missing number, my missing factor and quotient was the size. Number five. Nate solves the equation blank times five equals 15 by writing and solving 15 divided by five equals blank. Explain why Nate's method works. Nate knows that multiplication and division are related. So when he writes multiplication as division, he is solving for the unknown, which happens to be the quotient. Nate's method works because he is solving for the same Unknown. Number six. The blanks in problem five represent the number of groups. Draw an array to represent the equation. On your own, draw an array for the problem in number five. Start with a total of 15 and divide that into groups of five to figure out how many groups you're going to make.